Top 10 Sports Cars in the World Luxury cars provide increased levels of comfort, equipment, amenities, quality, performance, and status. They reflect both the status of their owners and the brand image of their manufacturer. Here is the list of top 10 luxury cars in the world. 10. McLaren 720S The McLaren 720S has succeeded where both of its predecessors, the 650S and the MP4-12C, fell short in our supercar class chart, purely and simply, by topping it. There are few more direct or effective ways for cars in this stratum of the performance car market to demonstrate their superiority, than by accelerating faster, lapping quicker and stopping harder than any rival. Power and torque had been lifted to 754 bhp and 590 pound-feet respectively, while the engineers shaved 80 kilograms in weight. It's a very special car indeed and itself also an autocar top 10 chart topper, being ranked separately in our hardcore sports cars chart. 9. Ferrari SF90 Stradale This successor of sorts to the LaFerrari hypercar is the most powerful road car in Ferrari's history. It's also the car that set the quickest lap time around the firm's Fiorano test track. Oh, and it's a plug-in hybrid that can travel for up to 15 miles on electricity alone. It makes use of a heavily reworked version of the 488 Pista's twin-turbocharged 3.9-liter V8, which is complemented by a trio of electric motors that raise the Ferrari's total power output to a staggering 986 bhp, allowing for a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 2.5 seconds. It's a technological tour de force for sure yet, despite the additional weight that powertrain brings, it's still just as incisive, intuitive, engaging and devastatingly quick as you would expect a mid-engined Ferrari to be. 8. Ferrari F8 Tributo Ferrari will tell you its new F8 Tributo is a replacement for the excellent 488 GTB, but in reality it's more of a heavy facelift. Anyway, its twin-turbocharged V8 now develops 710 bhp and 568 pound-feet and, surprise surprise, it's as devastatingly fast as ever. Variable boost management ramps up torque gradually, too, so it not only feels more like an Atmo engine but also almost eliminates turbo lag. Not only does it make the engine's stratospheric performance accessible but it also endows the car with otherworldly levels of agility, balance and handling panache. Make no mistake, this is a sensational supercar. 7. Lamborghini Huracan Evo Only the makers of the world's rarest and most expensive, hand-built automotive exotics can now really compete with Lamborghini. When it comes to creating cars of pure combustive drama, traffic-stopping looks and feral, unfettered soul. The facelifted Evo version gets rear-wheel steering and torque vectoring, and the results raise the Huracan's game closer to that of its McLaren and Ferrari rivals. 6. Ford GT The myth and mystique of the Ford GT, stretching back more than five decades to the GT40's string of successive victories at Le Mans, would have given this car a larger-than-life presence in any class in which we put it the car having originally resurrected in 2005. This, third coming, of the motoring legend is a cleverly conceived road-going version of Ford's World Endurance Championship racer. 5. Lamborghini Aventador SVJ A drive in Santagata's 12-cylinder, mid-engined, series production flagship supercar isn't something you'll forget. It burst onto the scene with almost 700 atmospheric horsepower and Machiavellian four-wheel drive in 2011, and was updated to S specification in 2017 to include four-wheel steering and even more grunt. Now we have the heroic SVJ, which takes an already unmissable car and turns it into the world's greatest attention magnet thanks to an astonishing body kit. 4. Noble M600 
This ultra-low volume, hand-built British supercar bears the name of the man behind the memorable late 1990s M12 sports car. Although it's made by a Midlands firm that no longer has anything to do with him. It's still built, mind you, to suit specialized tastes that Lee Noble may approve of, with lightness and simplicity, with the purity of a manual gearbox and rear wheel drive. Without anti-lock brakes or electronic driver aids and for those who like their performance cars raw. These days, it's less of a clear on paper draw, but it continues to produce a massive swell of acceleration for the M600 that has to be felt to be believed. Handling is at once super purposeful and amazingly interactive and adjustable with it, although the car's ergonomic layout and cabin finish leave a bit to be desired. 3. Aston Martin Vanquish Aston Martin is set to revive its Vanquish nameplate when it launches its own mid-engined rival to the likes of the McLaren 720S and Ferrari F8 Tributo. The car was previewed at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show in Vanquish Vision concept form and is expected to make use of a hybrid engine from Mercedes-AMG. A new bonded aluminium architecture will underpin the car. Production is expected to commence at Aston Martin's Gaydon facility in 2022, with prices likely being around the £250,000 mark when it eventually hits the market. 2. Aston Martin Valhalla Aston Martin refers to the Valhalla as the son of Valkyrie, but that's not to say it should in any way be thought of as a lesser supercar. It might not use the same Cosworth-developed V12 as its bigger sibling, but expect power to exceed 800 bhp in any case. It's clear that Aston Martin has the likes of the Ferrari SF90 Stradale locked in its sights. It'll make use of a similar carbon fiber architecture to the Valkyrie, while its active suspension and aerodynamic architecture will also be related. 1. BMW M1 Some 41 years have passed since the original BMW M1 supercar first saw the light of day but, at long last, it seems that Munich might be about to put a successor. Insiders have already told us it's likely the car will be introduced as a limited-run model ahead of the launch of the second-generation i8. Its 0-62 to mph time is thought to be around the 3.0 seconds mark, while an electric-only range of more than 62 miles is thought to be possible. If you find this video useful don't forget to like and subscribe to our channels.